big opportunity for me to show people that I'm back. Carl would definitely be a great one to put under my resume to you know, be happy and show my kids, yeah, I beat this guy. I was about eight, eight and a half. I saw these judo kids, all these bunch of little kids with belts on, and I was like, I can try this, I can do this, and I started doing judo. Right away, I can see it. The car has the talent. He has a big heart, you know, like, he doesn't scare for fighting, he doesn't scare for anybody. And I was able to do all these thoroughs and all these six submissions. I won, like, 10 junior nationals, and I've won everything in the country, pretty much. I was 14, right, won four. There was a, a show in Tijuana, Mexico. I'm 14 years old. I mean, how many 14 years old you know, go to Mexico to fight, to MMA, and I'm fighting a 23-year-old man. That's 10 and 0 in MMA, pride and joy of Mexico, 170 pounds, chisel, and I'm fighting this guy, and I'm 14, bare knuckle. That was the car it was in that time. You know, just basically, he doesn't care. He just simply fight anybody. These guys look at each other like, oh God, you know, we have to sign some paperwork if you literally die, we're not responsible. And here I go in the ring and I fight this guy for five rounds and beat the crap out of him. Unbelievable, that's actually what he decided to be, he's gonna come a fight. Sure. And then it was to the Olympics, trials, or make a career out of this, and I made a career out of that. I remember my, my first fight being in, you know, fifth grade, you know, that we had a Down syndrome kid in, in our elementary school, and uh, these two kids just kept picking on him. I mean, they were, you know, putting food in the ground and making him eat it and thinking it was so funny, and I'd never been in a fight before, and uh, I went over and I just cracked this kid in the face, and then his, his buddy turned around and tried to do some, I cracked him, and uh, I was like, wow, <laughs> this is what it's like to hit somebody, and it was crazy because almost the whole school School applauded what I had done, and I kind of enjoyed that feeling. I was 17, working a full-time job, needed to have some kind of release. I liked being punched, and I liked punching people in the face, so it was just a good release. I loved sparring, you know, got into competing and, and doing some matches, and uh, was undefeated in kickboxing. You know, I'm 27 years old, threw me in a jiu-jitsu tournament. Went in there, crushed a couple guys, you know, it was just, wow, this, this stuff's kind of neat. Ended up uh, getting in an eight-man, Crazy tournament, you know, no gloves, no nothing, headbutts, you know, everything was legal. I mean, it was something like out of the movies, getting in there, fighting, you know, beating all three of my guys. I think a total of two minutes combined. I think I made like a hundred bucks or something. The first year fighting, my money went way down here, but my happiness went way up here. Fast forward 13 years later, I fought all over the world. I've, you know, fought some of the best guys out there, and you know, here I am today. Thomas Denny, on paper, pound for pound, came out in the stand next to me as far as skill set or what we've done in the sport. I'm a perfect opponent for Carl. We're gonna go out there and you know see if his judo can work versus my stand up. So there's never been an opponent I haven't really thrown. Now I'm trying to recognize the throws and land on top of them so I can stay on top of them and beat the crap out of them there. Carl throws everybody. Is he gonna throw me? Sure. But where am I gonna land? Am I gonna land on his back? Am, am I gonna land in a better position for myself? He definitely has all the tools to stand in front of me and fight. He can punch the lights out of me any second and put me to sleep. So I gotta be careful. All I need is one punch. One punch can change every aspect of the fight game. One punch, one knee, one elbow. And do I think I have that number? Yeah, I, I do have it on a lot of people. I don't even knock him out. Hey, I'm gonna even throw him, I'm gonna even knock him out in his own game. Well, Carl, if you do decide to stand with me, I will knock you out. And if the old car comes back, Thomas can't get out of it, dude. Not, not one round. I bring that car back, and it'll, it'll be less than five minutes. I will finish Thomas. Day. Caro the Heat Parisian versus Thomas the Wild Man Denny. Live on pay per view. Go to WMMASports.com. WMMA, fighting for a better world.